We are in Italy, on the island of Sardinia. Some notes it as a place for luxury holidays of Russian oligarchs and Berlusconi villas, some at the site of ancient Nuraks and the battlefield of the Mediterranean empires. Some just believes that this is a place where sardines are caught. By the way, the name of the island was earlier than the name of the fish and has Greek roots. And we have found here a plastic recycler. Ecoplastar company is the only plastic recycler on the island. Hence, its business strategy, as far as possible to maximize a closed recycling technological loop. First, let's see what is being recycled. Almost all types of plastic waste are recycled except PET. Waste management companies apparently ship PET to some recyclers on the mainland. Obviously, there is some agricultural specific. This is HDP pipes. This is LDP covering agricultural film. This is packaging LDP film from all warehouses, supermarkets and industrial facilities on the island. This is PP woven bags. Containers of various shapes and sizes. Fuel tanks. Actually everything that is available on the island. They recycle both clean materials and heavy contaminated ones. When we were on the site, the plant were processing mixed film from waste sorting facilities with a lot of contaminants and impurities of other polymers. The recycling process starts here, outside, thanks to the weather conditions of the resort island. The material is first crushed on the shredder, then it goes into the centrifuge, next to the pre-flotation tank, then to the granulator, After crushing in granulate, it goes to another sink float tank. After the second sink float tank, there is a dewatering screw and then dehydrated material is fed by a pneumatic transport to the storage hopper. Raw materials are really very complicated for recycling. It's dirty and most importantly is a mixture of different polymers. They process mixtures of HDP, LDP, PP films and rigid plastics. Also, they process mix of PP, fruit craze mixing with PP woven bags, for example. This is a storage hopper for the washed flakes after washing line. Washed raw materials are supplied here by pneumatic transport and dosed into the agglomerator. Not often in Europe you will find agglomerators these days, but here is just such a case. Agglomerator is a big one, with motor capacity up to 400 kilowatts. As always, in such cases, an operator is assigned to the machine and cook the agglomerate. And here is the wastewater treatment plant. Obviously, not too much fresh water is available on the island and the washing water is circulating in the process. As you can see, it's not cleaned to transparent, but just enough to satisfy the subsequent processing. Everything looks rather simple and cheap, but nevertheless about 800,000 euros were paid for the washing line and wastewater treatment plant.
This is a special system for drying the fines. Many recyclers very soon encounter this problem and are looking for the solution. In fact, fines are just finely chopped film pieces. Unfortunately, they are still with a lot of paper, dirt and moisture. When our Sardinian colleagues faced this problem, they invented such a thing. How it works, we leave to your judgment. We show it same as we ourselves observed it. In the comments, you can write your guesses how it works. The output is dry and more or less clean fines, which they also use in further processing, mixing it with agglomerate and regranulate. Sometimes it even turns out such a clean, but it depends more on the input material, of course. Now we are in the workshop for the production of fruit trays. Part of the agglomerate and regreened is pelletized on a Technova extruder. Some pellets are sold to third parties, some are used for their own production of fruits and vegetable trays. For trays injection molding machines, they always try to use agglomerate or regreened, not pellets, because pellets extrusion is energy consuming and the company strives to maximum use its semi-finished products first. According to the manager, they produce up to 25,000 trays per day, which, with the weight of one tray 1.4 kilo, can amount up to 1,000 tons of recycling per month. A good amount, but most likely they cannot process such a big volume of waste plastic on the washing line that we saw. Another big question is whether there is such a volume of waste LDP, HDP and PP on the island. And so we can presume some regranulate or regreened is bought from the third parties to feed full capacity of injection molding facilities. However, the seasons factor may also play a role and 1,000 tons are processed not every month, but during high seasons only. In other months, the raw material is recycled and accumulated for the further processing. In general, in the end, we can conclude that we saw an example of closed-loop circular business model. The recycling company collects the plastic waste, shred it, wash it, dry it, makes regranulate and finally makes finished products, fruit, vegetable trays. To say more, they even use some of these trays for packaging and exporting products from their own artichoke fields. Of course, not everything is so perfectly closed-looped. For sure, some parts of pellets is sold to other companies. Most of the trays are also sold to all island agricultural producers. But in general, the processing model certainly carries the effect of isolation from large sales markets.